I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it, and this has been like a therapy session. This is Coom Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm joined by Peter Fury. Peter, um, yeah, unanimous win for Clarissa Shields. What did you think of the scoring, first of all? I didn't agree with 7 3, and I thought it was anybody's fight, to be fair. I'd have to watch it back. But, you know, Clarissa's won it, that's the main thing. And they full of congratulations to her. You know, look, not about being a sore loser, it's how you see it. But um, I thought Savannah was losing a lot, some of the early rounds, definitely. But then she picked it up. And uh, yeah, I'd have to watch it back. I had it close, to be honest with you. You know, I had it, it could have went either way. But 7-3, um, no, I didn't score that, it was ridiculous. But I'm not complaining about the result. It could, for me, I'd have to watch it back, but it could have went either way. It went Clarissa's way, you know, and congratulations to her. It was a good, listen, what a cracking fight that was. Brilliant fight, and um, some of them early rounds, because it, it seemed as if Clarissa was kind of finishing those rounds within the last kind of 20 to 30 seconds stronger than Savannah. Did that maybe play a part in nicking some of the early rounds? Sure, you know, and that's all credit to her. So it was a, it was a fabulous fight and both of them need maximum respect. Like I said, it's lift off for women's boxing, but what a fight that was. You know, so I knew it was going to be a hell of a fight and that's what it turned into. And like I said, 50-50 could have went anyway. It's gone Clarissa's way tonight, but you know we have a rematch and we'll get it on again. You said from kind of when the first fight was announced, obviously prior to the reschedulement, that listen, it can happen. They're two elite fighters, and when you're fighting the best, anything can happen. You know, let me tell you something, Coogan. Yeah, people go on about a loss. I'm proud of this Savannah. Very, very proud. What a fighting woman. And that's what we're in the sport to do. There's got to be a winner and got to be a loser. I'm happy. We've had a fabulous fight. Didn't go our way. So what? Come back, make adjustments. Let's get the victory next time. From your perspective, though, in between the rounds, what were you telling her, kind of, even anyway during the fight? Let's start with the first kind of half of the fight. What were you telling her in between the rounds? Just impose herself, you know, use her strength, use her height advantage, you know, and uh, use her punching power, you know. You know, light shots, work the body and then come up with the shots. Because, uh, you know, the, the plans was right. You know, I was happy with it. Um, there could have been a few things that she didn't do. She held her feet a bit long. So we'll work on different, a few different things, but what a cracking fight it was. So, like I say, if you'll hear what I've had to say in the corner anyway. It's got a mic there. But I was happy with it and uh, she followed her instructions and she'd done the best she could. When she was letting her hands go, that's where kind of the crowd were kind of up for it because we know that Savannah's a big puncher and she's very capable of hurting um, Clarissa. So, yeah, is it a case of we didn't see enough of that from Savannah? Yeah, I think so. You know, if you notice through the rounds, I was telling her to put her feet down. You know, she was moving her feet a little bit too much rather than stepping, stepping off her feet and then throwing the shots, you know, to get more leverage, opening her legs up a bit more. So this is all stuff she can do, which will give her more variety in her punches. So, uh, but look, she's got that lovely relaxed style. She just could have done... Um, Obviously, they can all do better. We can pick holes in it. But it's a tremendous fight. Let's not take anything away from Clarissa Shields because Savannah trained like a Trojan for this fight. This was Savannah's best career performance. So, and Clarissa said, you know, it's the hardest fight of Clarissa's career as well. She had to dig very deep for that fight. You know, they had a war in there. So, you know, let's give it the, uh, the full credit it needs. Where will we see a rematch? 100%. I said to Savannah, we've got a rematch. She's happy with it. She'll get on, she'll make adjustments, and, uh, you know, we'll go again. OK, well, I appreciate your time, and, yeah, it weren't your night tonight, but, like I said, you, you've stated from the off that when these kind of calibre of fighters are involved, it can go either way. Do you know what, Coogan? I'm just proud to be in these type of fights, you know, where people get the money's worth. They're not got protected records. You know, there's no sore losers here. That fight could have went either way. It's gone Clarissa's way. You know, that's it. I don't know. I'm not a scoreman. But like I say, it was close. But I'm happy with Savannah, happy with their performance. It didn't go our way tonight. Had it closer than 7-3. I thought that score was ridiculous. And I, you know, me personally looking at it, I thought it could have went either way. 
you know, she's got it, and that's what matters. Peter, thank you very much for coming to IFL TV, and uh, we'll catch up with you again soon. Good Google. Thank you, mate. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.